Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to dive into the world of data transformations using Power Query in Microsoft Excel. Specifically, we're going to go through a technique called unpivoting data, which is a highly valuable technique that anyone working with data needs to know. And with all that said, let's get into the video. To understand why unpivoting data is useful, let's consider this common scenario. Let's say that we have a data set here with columns for country and category along with the monthly sales numbers shown here. Now the way that the data is laid out, I'd say it's great for presenting, but less convenient when it comes to doing data analysis. For example, let's say that I wanted to summarize this data by country. Now when we hear the word summarize in Excel, the go-to method would be to use the pivot table. So let's go ahead and try and do that. So I'll just go up to the insert tab here, then I'll click on pivot table, and it's already selected my data set, and I'm gonna make it on a new worksheet. So I'll click OK here. And I wanted to see it by country, right? So I'll click and drag this field here into the rows area. And now check this out. If I wanted to see the January sales, I would have to click and drag this field into the values area, then do the same thing for February, February and then March, and then April, and so on and so forth. And we can already see that this is gonna be a time consuming process especially when we're dealing with large amounts of data. It's just unnecessary. Now what if there was a way to click and drag one field that represented all months? That's where the unpivoting technique comes in. So unpivoting data at a high level is all about turning columns into rows, which makes our data more flexible and manageable to work with. So let's get started with unpivoting our data. So the first thing I need to do is have a cell selected in my data set, which I do right here. Then I'll go to the data tab and then I'll click on this option here under the Get and Transform Data group. This will create our table using our data, which we can see here it's selecting our data and it's checking off my table as headers because we do. Then I'll click OK. This will create an Excel table and bring up the Power Query editor. So if this is the first time you're using Power Query, here's a quick overview. The left side of the editor shows the list of queries, which we only have one. The middle section here is our data set that we're going to be applying data transformations to. And then on the right side, we have our query settings, which contains things like our query name, and then this applied step section. And then the applied step section, that's where all the data transformations are recorded. So it looks like there's been two steps applied so far. Let's take a look at them. So looking at the source step, this is us connecting to that table that was just created a moment ago. And then in the second step, this is Power Query's attempt to set data types to our columns. Now this works most of the time, but I personally like to set my own data types when I'm ready. So in this case, I'm gonna click the X button here to delete that step. Now we essentially have a blank slate. Now we're ready to unpivot our monthly columns, turning them from columns into rows. So to do this, I'm gonna left click January, 2023, then I'll scroll all the way to the right and then hold the shift key and left click December 2024. This will select all the monthly columns for me. Next, I'm gonna go up to the Transform tab and then click on Unpivot Columns. Now let's take a second here to see what just happened. We can see that the monthly columns have now turned into unique rows under this attribute column with their corresponding sales numbers shown in the values column. We can also see that the step has been recorded here on the right under this unpivoted column step. And in the formula bar, we can see the function unpivot other columns being used and columns country and category being referenced. And what this essentially is saying is keep the country and category as is and unpivot the rest of the columns. Now that our data is unpivoted, there's a couple more data transformations that we can make. The next data transformation that I wanna make here is to rename this attribute column to be something more meaningful. So I'm just gonna double click it then I'll change it to something like date. And this will apply the renamed columns to our query. And the last data transformation that I'll make in this query is to change the data type within this date column. Because right now it's stored as text, which we can see with this ABC here, but I can change that by left clicking that and then selecting the date option. And now we can see that the values have turned into actual dates shown as the first of each month. And just like that, we've greatly simplified our data set, going from many columns into just a few. This makes it so much more manageable to work with. 
Now that we've finished our data transformations, let's go ahead and create a pivot table using this instead of our original data set. But first, I'm just going to rename this query to be something more meaningful than table one. So I'll call it something like summary. Then I'll go to the home tab and then click on close and load and close and load two. So from here, I'm going to click on pivot table report and I want to create it on a new worksheet. Then I'll click OK. So from here, I'm going to click and drag the country field into the rows area. And then I'll click and drag this value field into the values area. Now check this out. Instead of clicking individual months, all I have to do now is click and drag this date field into this columns area. And then we can see a bunch of things just happened. The first thing is that the date field has now split into four different fields, one for years, quarters, months, and the date. The other thing that we can see here is that the pivot table has automatically grouped our data by year which we did not see in our original data set at all. So immediately we're given an insight that just wasn't there before. And of course, we can click the plus button if we wanted to expand this information to show it by quarters and then expand it further if you wanted to see it by month. Now this is what the power of unpivoting data is when it comes to doing data analysis. This would just not be possible using our original data set, or at least it would be very difficult to do it. And what's neat about using Power Query this way is that because it recorded our steps, our pivot table is now able to handle more data as it comes in with ease. So here we are back in our original data set where I've added in sales numbers for 2025. Let's go back to our pivot table and see what happens when we refresh it. So I'm just gonna go back to our summary tab here. I'll collapse the 2024 field like this, and then I'll right click and then click refresh. And just like that, we're able to add in new data with ease. And that's how you use Power Query in Microsoft Excel to unpivot data. If you found this video useful, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next video.